Welcome to the Deep Dive. We're here to unpack the latest ideas and uh, really figure out what matters. Today, we are diving deep into something truly transformative for AI. It's about the future, about how AI advances, and it centers on this new system called Memo. Now, if you've been paying attention to AI at all, you know large language models, LOMs, are well, they're incredible. They write code, they answer really complex questions, they generate text. Sometimes they feel, I don't know, almost human, right? in how they talk. Oh, absolutely. It's amazing how far they've come, really. But, you know, beneath all that brilliance, there's been this kind of hidden problem, memory. See, current LLMs, the big ones anyway, they mostly rely on knowledge that's like baked into their design, static parameters, we call them. And they only remember what's happening right now in a very short conversation window. So that really holds them back when it comes to tracking, say, your preferences over time or updating what they know or even just keeping track across a long chat. Right. So even these systems like RA, retrieval augmented generation, mm -hmm. which seemed like a huge step, letting them grab outside info, mm -hmm. that's still not real memory. Yeah. Not in this sense. Exactly. Yeah, think of Argo. It's like having a super fast librarian. They can pull any book instantly. But uh, five minutes later, they might not remember who you are or what you asked for before. It's great for that quick on-the-fly retrieval, sure. But it doesn't build up this, you know, continuous evolving picture. It just doesn't have those core memory management pieces. It's more of a patch, really, not a deeply integrated memory. And that leads us right here to today's deep dive. MemOS. It's being called a memory operating system for AI. So our mission today is to unpack how MemOS tackles these, frankly, critical memory gaps. And by doing that, how it unlocks, well, potentially huge possibilities, huge opportunities for where AI goes next. Maybe even pushing us closer to that idea of artificial general intelligence, AGI. Okay, so you've called memory the Achilles heel. Let's dig into that a bit more. Why is it such a fundamental blocker for AI, especially if we're talking about something like AGI? Well, what's really key here is how current LLMs handle what they know. A lot of it is just, it's stuck deep inside their design, rigidly encoded. Or it's handled really fleetingly just in that immediate conversation window. And that means they really struggle with tasks that take a long time or with adapting to you personally over time. I mean, imagine trying to work on a, a complex project with someone who forgets what you agreed on five minutes ago or who can't learn from new information you give them. It's like they're trying to navigate our really dynamic world with um, very limited short-term recall and a mostly fixed long-term knowledge base. So even with our rig pulling in outside facts, it's, it's not building its own internal evolving memory of interactions. Exactly right. RIG is great for lookups, finding facts, but it's accessing external stuff on demand. The AI itself isn't really remembering the experience of finding or using that information. It doesn't have the features you'd expect in a proper memory system, like, you know, tracking how long a memory is relevant or managing different versions of a fact or who should even access what memory. And that's why you get that short memory feel in complex chats or when you try to personalize things. Which, yeah, leads to that big question. How does an AI actually learn or personalize meaningfully if it can't manage its own experiences? It's like, me, yeah. it's like having this brilliant mind that keeps hitting the reset button. Okay, huge gap then. So what's Memos doing differently? How does it actually propose to, you know, manage memory? If we look at the big picture, Memos essentially treats memory like a core system resource, just like um, a normal computer OS manages the CPU or the RAM. The whole idea is to provide one single framework for organizing memory, keeping track of the AI's internal state, and crucially supporting that long-term adaptation. And it brings together how AI handles knowledge at all levels, from simple text it reads to its kind of muscle memory for tasks, and even its core ingrained understanding. Think of it like managing sticky notes, reflexes, and deep-seated beliefs all under one system. And I heard about the memcube. That sounds important, like the basic building block. Yeah, the memcube is fundamental. It's the basic unit, the atom of memory in memos. Picture it like a smart digital container. It holds uh, the memory itself could be a fact and experience, whatever, but it also holds vital info about that memory. Things like where did it come from? Has it changed over time? Who gets to see it? This metadata is key because this structure brings real control, real flexibility and the ability for these models to actually evolve. Memory can now be combined, moved around, updated properly. It really is the foundation for an AI that can learn and grow, bridging that gap we talked about between its immediate awareness and its depth knowledge. So it's not just about remembering better. What are the really big opportunities this opens up for AI? Yeah. You mentioned things like consistency over long tasks, personalization. What new things could AI actually do? Right. This is where it gets genuinely exciting. Memo has tackles 
four massive challenges facing LLMs today and basically flips them into opportunities for the future of AI advancement. Okay, first, long range dependency modeling. You know how sometimes an LLM just forgets what you told it at the start of a long project or goes back to its default settings? With memos, your AI assistant wouldn't just remember the last few things you said. It could genuinely hold on to all the details of a product you've been working on for weeks, maybe months. It's almost like giving the AI, well, infinite context, infinite memory, a persistent partner that gets the whole picture without constant reminders. That alone enables so much more complex collaboration. Second, adapting to knowledge evolution. The real world changes constantly, right? New laws, new scientific findings, news, current LLMs, they're mostly static. They can't keep up without these huge, expensive retraining sessions. Memos gives them tools to track versions, origins, the sell-by date of information. It can flag or retire old facts, track how knowledge shifts, so AIs could actually stay current. Imagine an AI legal assistant that knows the latest regulations, or a medical AI aware of new treatment guidelines almost instantly. That's a huge opportunity for reliable AI. Third, uh, personalization and multi-role support. How often does an AI feel like it starts fresh every single time you talk to it? Ignoring everything you've taught it about your preferences, your style, MemOS allows for these durable memory traces. It builds a persistent memory about you or about different roles it needs to play. Think about an AI that really learns your specific way of communicating, your priorities, even your tone. It becomes a truly personalized tool and you could even potentially edit that memory to fine tune it. And fourth, and this is big picture, cross-platform memory migration and ecosystem diversity. Right now, your interactions with one AI are usually stuck there, a memory island. If you use ChatGPT, that memory doesn't easily hop over to, say, a specialized work tool. MemOS aims to make memory portable, standardized, yeah. reusable across different AIs, different platforms, different users. It's absolutely crucial for getting AI widely deployed in a consistent yeah. way. Your preferences, project data, it could follow you around digitally. Wow, that is a, that's a really powerful vision. It definitely feels like shifting AI from being being just a clever tool to something more like a persistent evolving partner it opens up so many possibilities okay but how does memos actually pull this off technically speaking what are the core capabilities that make all these opportunities possible yeah technically memos brings three core capabilities that are uh really a paradigm shift. First one is controllability. This means full management over the entire life cycle of a memory unit from when it's created to when it's deleted or archived. This includes fine-grained permissions who can access what memory and smart strategies for activating the right memory at the right time. Super important for safety, for traceability, especially in complex settings with many tasks or users. For instance, you could set user preference memories to expire automatically or restrict sensitive project data. That kind of control is vital for trust and for for business use. Second is plasticity. This is all about being adaptable. Memo lets memory be restructured, moved around between tasks or roles. It allows for things like uh, slicing up memory, tagging it, mapping it hierarchically so the AI can switch between different views of its memory or update connections on the fly. This means really rapid cognitive adaptation. Imagine an AI instantly shifting its focus and knowledge base from giving legal advice to brainstorming marketing ideas. Just by activating different memory sets. And third, maybe the most crucial, evolvability. Memos allows for dynamic movement and scheduling between different types of memory, its core parametric knowledge, its active working memory, and those stored plain text memories. So uh, imagine taking frequently used rules that a user defined across many chats and converting them into faster active memory, or compressing long-term knowledge into a more efficient, deeply integrated form. This builds a really solid foundation for integrating new knowledge, for autonomous learning, for the model actually evolving its own understanding over time. Okay, so it's not just sticking a hard drive onto an LLM. It's making memory intelligent, flexible, yeah. capable of growth. That really does sound like a true operating system for intelligence itself. Now, this all sounds amazing, revolutionary even, but, you know, does it actually work? Is there solid proof this isn't just a cool idea on paper? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the research backs this up pretty strongly. MemOS went through some rigorous testing, specifically on a benchmark called Locomo. It's designed to test complex reasoning things like single-step problems, multi-step problems, using open domain knowledge and reasoning over time. Basically, all the stuff where current LLMs tend to uh, fall down because of memory limits. And the results, how did it stack up? Well, MemOS came out on top, consistently ranked first across all those categories. 
And it didn't just win, it outperformed other strong memory systems by uh, pretty significant margins, especially in the really tricky areas like multi-hop reasoning, connecting multiple pieces of information, and temporal reasoning, which, like we said, need that long-range memory and context integration. So yeah, it clearly demonstrates it can handle complex, evolving situations much better than the current state of the art. Okay, so it's not just performing well, it's excelling precisely where the old models struggle most. That's compelling. But what about the overhead? Does all this sophisticated memory management slow things down, make it less efficient? That's another really critical point, and actually one of the impressive parts. Despite managing potentially a lot more memory information, MemOS's retrieval speed stays right down there with much simpler baseline systems. It uses this clever technique, um, KV-based acceleration, basically. It converts frequently needed plain text memory into a highly optimized format activation memory that gets injected straight into the model really quickly. And the result is a massive reduction in the time it takes the AI to start generating its response, the time to first token or TTFT. We're talking reductions up to like 91% in some tests with bigger models and longer context. And crucially, it does this without actually changing the meaning of the output. So you get superior memory performance without the typical computational hit. That makes it practical, not just powerful. This whole deep dive really paints a picture of memos fundamentally shifting how we should think about AI intelligence. So let's bring it home. What does this mean for you, the listener, or for businesses wanting to use AI? What are the concrete possibilities, the real world opportunities this unlocks? Yeah, Memos really does enable some exciting new architectures and applications, things that could directly impact how we all use AI. Okay, first, think about memory as modular installables. This is kind of a wild idea, but imagine a marketplace for AI memory. Domain experts, doctors, lawyers, engineers could package up their specialized knowledge and experience into these memos units, these mem cubes, like a knowledge plugin you can buy. So a medical student could literally uh, search for, install, and start using a veteran physician's diagnostic heuristics, instantly gaining licensed intelligence without needing to build a whole AI model from scratch. This could totally change how expertise is shared and monetized. Second, for people actually building building or using AI, it means painless memory management. Forget wrestling with vector databases or complex caching setups. The idea is Memos handles it. The AI automatically figures out which memory sets it needs for a given task and loads them. It's memory as a resource. Use it when you need it. So your AI legal assistant just dynamically pulls up the contract templates, the risk clause examples, the latest regulations digest as the task changes, all behind the scenes. Much simpler, much more powerful. Third, much enhanced multi-turn dialogue. Finally, no more frustrating memory wipes and long conversations. MemOS is designed to pick out the important bits, encode them as memory units, and link them to the ongoing task. This means real continuity. Think complex negotiations, long customer support interactions. The AI stays with you. It could even allow for cross-task memory, like remembering your passport number from a flight booking when you start a visa application later. That kind of seamlessness. Fourth, dynamic knowledge evolution becomes practical. AIs can finally keep pace with the real world. When, say, new clinical guidelines come out, memos could allow them to be released as explicit memory updates. The AI could even compare versions, flag changes. It ensures the AI isn't working off outdated info. And it also supports personalized knowledge building. A specialist could refine the AI's understanding based on their own experience, making it better for them over time. Fifth, we get true personalization and multi-role AI. This is system-level support for AI that knows who you are and what role it's playing. Your AI can maintain personal memory units, your tone, your key preferences, making interactions feel much more natural and tailored. Or it could seamlessly switch between being, say, your work assistant and your home organizer, drawing on different memory streams for each role without you constantly having to explain the context. And finally, breaking memory silos. This is huge for usability. Your AI memories are no longer trapped. MemOS aims for standardized memory representation so your preferences or project data can move with you. Your family vacation preferences memory from your phone could potentially be used by a travel planning agent on your desktop. This fosters a much more integrated AI experience across all your devices and tools, a massive opportunity for truly ubiquitous AI assistance. It really is a monumental shift. Memos doesn't just sound like an upgrade. It sounds like it transforms LLMs from these um, sometimes forgetful tools into genuinely dynamic, continuously learning partners. The opportunities for how we integrate AI into everything seem vast. Absolutely. It's fundamentally about making memory a first-class citizen, a core system resource in AI design. And that lays the groundwork for everything that comes next. 
cross-task learning, cross-platform consistency, even collaborative intelligence between multiple AIs. We're definitely moving towards a memory-centric future for AI. It unlocks so much potential. So, just to leave you with something to think about, imagine this future ecosystem built around these modular memory resources, maybe even a decentralized marketplace where people and AIs trade specialized mem blocks. Think about memory units that learn and optimize themselves based on how they're used, or being able to seamlessly share relevant memories between completely different AI models. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? How will your relationship with AI change? How will the opportunities evolve when it can genuinely remember, adapt, and share its experiences in ways it never could before?